All right, so finally, I got the Shasta down to the frame. Got the cab opened up there. That big tumor thing is gone. Ready to start fixing the floors in the cab and then closing the back half of the cab and putting on my sheet metal, well, diamond, diamond plate. Been burning up all the wood that came off the camper and only got like, I don't know, maybe $60 for all the aluminum off the whole camper. So for those of you that are wondering if it's worth it to go get a free camper and take all the aluminum off it and junk it, no, it's not. Unless if you have something with a power plant in it that you're willing to make into something else to put on the road afterwards, it's not at all worth doing it. Let them sit. Let them sit. You're wasting your time. You'll be totally disappointed when you go to the junkyard. So, that's all that's left of her. I busted ass and got everything hauled out back for burning and took in most of all the aluminum. I'm just burning the rest of it. I don't even care. It ain't worth shit. I don't even care anymore. Nope. Don't even waste your time with aluminum. Sheeting anyway. Cast aluminum is a different story. Yep. A bunch of ants in there too. Way too many ants. They're all over my garage now. Yep, they're just everywhere. Carpenter ants and they're carrying their babies all over the place. Look at them. You can see them on there. Yep, they got a bunch of egg sacks all over the place, and it's disgusting. Totally disgusting. But now I gotta fix the floor, put them foam things back on after I clean them up, and, clo and close the back half of the cab and that part of the roof there, and we're golden. We're good to go. So absolutely do not do this unless you have a plan for the truck part of it afterwards well the van part in this case but if you don't have a plan for that don't even bother with campers it's too much of a pain in the ass but i need something to haul my derby car Alrighty, till next time